So, you know, but like I said, it was a good sign for me that like we were compatible because we just, we just knew what to do. I, 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 I didn't, I didn't even really expect that. I mean, I don't know if you swept me off my feet. I, mean, I don't know I if mean, I say all on, that. Come on. Sound like it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you liked it though. I loved it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Sid the Entertainer. I'm, I'm asking y'all to check out the Loveology podcast. This is. Hello, and welcome to the Loveology podcast, where we talk about love and life with laughter. I'm Ashley. And I'm Jason. He's the carefree one. She's the serious one. And, and we're, we're married. married. We have been since 2012, and we like to think of ourselves as a couple of loveologists. Not because we are the experts, but because we just love love. We enjoy studying and talking about it, so we thought, let's just start a podcast. A place where we can share what we have learned about love, relationships, and marriage. You can share what you've learned, and we can all grow together. So here we are. Are you ready? Let's get started. Hey world, what's going on, man? It's another episode of the Loveology Podcast. Woo! What's up, my <laughs> Loveologist? What's up, baby? Hey, Loveologist. What's up? What's up? What's up? How you doing, baby? I'm good. How are you? I am outstanding. I hope y'all had a awesome Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm, I think mm-hmm. We had an awesome Valentine's Day. That's right. Very minimal. <laughs> but uh, you know, they say they say less is best, right? Mm-hmm. That's what they say. So how do you feel? You're the recipient of the, the Valentine. Day. Well, it's, it's just as much for men as it is for women. Yeah. You I think understand. so? No, yeah, I, I, I agree. It's just, <laughs> you know, in my past, you know, just used to just dealing with ladies that uh, sometimes don't think that way. It's all good. Well, I think women do. I don't know. I think women do uh, care about it more, maybe. Yeah. But I consider it a day for lovers and... I was doing a little research um, about Valentine's Day and, you know, some other cultures have, you know, went ahead, went ahead and kind of like opened it up to just a day of love. So forth. sure, you know, just send your friends, express your love to your friends, your family. It's all about love. And, you know, the most important is you, Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Just because you don't have a Valentine or whatever you can have yourself right Mm -hmm. you're supposed to love yourself first right and that can open up the doors for other channels of love but definitely take care of yourself do some self-love i know my babe's doing some self-love and Mm -hmm. getting it all together and all that (laughs) good stuff but other than that i think we had a great weekend we just we went bike riding today Mm -hmm. had had some had some fun with with that uh found a nice little bike path that ended uh ended up in a park so uh, that was cool, mm-hmm. right? You have fun? Yeah, I had a great time. Yeah, yeah. I'm a little tired, but <laughs> <laughs> I said, dang, I, I can't even ride on a bike anymore. <laughs> no, I was straight, but I think my bike has a big wheel. Like the front wheel. The is front big. wheel is bigger than the back? Yeah. No. It's not. <laughs> it feels like it. <laughs> you like, rode a big bike in a while. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was fun. Okay. And kiddos loved it, so. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Nice to get outside. Get some well, fresh hey, air. man, we, we want y'all to, uh, you know, before we jump into this, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, even if you hit that dislike button, that's cool. But, you know, leave us a comment. Let us know what you dislike about it. And we ain't nobody perfect. We don't get everything correct. But, you know, sometimes we, you know, we, we need somebody to, you know, shed some light uh, on some of these topics. And, you know, it's a community. So let's get busy in the comments. Uh, you know, throw some stuff out there. If you got questions, type it in the comments and any other loveologists out there, feel free to to jump on and, 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 you know, give your two cents to the, to the story. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. All right. Absolutely. So we're going to jump on today, babe. What are we jumping into? What's the title today? Well, I don't know the title. <laughs> okay. Well, what is it? <laughs> but we're talking about Valentine's day and, um, basically this idea of, you know, every day is Valentine's day. Yes. Basically. Yes. Which, well, we'll just jump into it. Let's dive in. So this is, of course, COVID is happening, right? Correct. So I'm sure a lot of people who have Valentine's are like chilling because it's like, where, what are we going to do? You know what I mean? Right. Um, so I'm sure that was a big determining factor for me and Jason this time to kind of chill out. Um, also, we just have had a lot of stuff going on, but... I think one of the biggest things is, is that like, 
I don't know. Like we we do stuff, sweet stuff for each other all the time. Right. So it's not like this pressure to I have to do this on Valentine's Day. Right. 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 So I don't know. Just playing with this idea that like let's let's just show love to each other all the time. Right. Yeah. Now, what I will say <laughs> is that if you feel that maybe you don't want to celebrate Valentine's Day or something uh, next year, <laughs> something like that, definitely talk to your partner because expectations are so important. Oh, yeah. Do you have a uh, saying for expectations, Jason? He has all these sayings. So, uh, do you have one for? No, I just like I just I just like to be you know what I'm saying clear and concise. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying I just like to. You know, when, when I, I can I can adjust to a lot of different things, but I, I have to kind of I prefer to know what's coming up. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I can adjust on the fly, but something to deal with relationships and stuff. You kind of want to know what you know. You want kind of get the signs beforehand, right? You can, and I can just take my time, hit the little signal light, and just merge on on. You mm-hmm. know, <laughs> take my time. Other than just turn right here, dang. You know what I'm saying? So you know. Right. Uh, you know, so no, nah, that's all I have. Okay. No well, sayings. Yeah. Well, Jason did a good job. He asked me, he was like, What did you say, Jason? You asked me a question about whether or not yeah. we were gonna celebrate Valentine's well, Day. Well, I was just I was just asking, you know, you know, it was pandemic, you know, we've been in it for a long time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's a lot going on. Folks tired, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Folks just wanna chill. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So and I know my wife, so but I, I didn't want to I like to set proper expectations. Mm-hmm. I think that's what you may be preferring to or uh, referring to. Uh, I like to set proper expectations. You know what I'm saying? So I want to, you know, hey, what 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 do you want to do? You know what I'm saying? I don't want to overdo it. And I don't want to underdo it. But how are you feeling? You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And I, and I can get right there in that sweet spot. We, we, we've we been in the game a little bit longer. Uh, what, coming up on eight years this yeah. year. Mm-hmm. So, you know, for us, it's oh, coming up on nine. It's eight. It's eight years coming up? Yeah. Okay. Well, we got married in 2012. It's 2021. It well, we're coming up on nine years this year. What? Okay. We got married in 2012. 2020 is an even number, so that's eight years, right? 2021 is nine years. We are we in a new year now. So, you know, sometimes it's the oh. fellas that be forgetting. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? I'm on point. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're coming up on nine years. We've been doing this for, for a little minute. And, you know, I, I knock it out the park every Valentine's. This is just what it is. But uh, <laughs> Well, we used to do this thing when we first started dating. We went to a cabin mm-hmm. with another couple. Mm-hmm. And then we did it again the next year. And it was three couples. Right. So that was a lot of fun. That's definitely a lot of fun. But you can do that any time of the year. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. you don't have to wait until Valentine's. But it is, uh, you know, so, something that, like, we should do again. Like that No, was- definitely. Definitely we're going to do uh, something like that. Uh, maybe like a Valentine's Day retreat. You know, mm-hmm. maybe it's a loveology thing. I'm not sure. But yeah. definitely we're going to do that here in the future. So uh, get ready for that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So, um, so yes, I really appreciate Jason for just asking the question about like, you know, what do you want to do? And I was like, you know what I really want to do? I just want to watch HBO Max and chill. You know what I I'm saying? I want to shoot, shoot daddy, <laughs> shoot daddy. <laughs> and I'm saying HBO Max because we watched Judas and the Black Messiah. Definitely watch Judas and the Black Messiah. If y'all haven't seen that movie, go check it out. It's on HBO Max. It's going to be nominated for an Oscar. Yeah, we, we call it. Yeah, we already called it. You heard it first. <laughs> Here on Love Audrey Podcast, <laughs> Judas and the Black Messiah. Check it out. It's very, very good. Yes. So I guess I, I just wanted to I just wanted to just chill. And I'm like, we can do each other love languages, give Jason plenty of, you know, physical touch. Yes. <laughs> and words that's my love language. And words of affirmation. Yeah. And he can give me quality time yes. and uh get to work. Go clean, go do yeah, something clean for up me. The kitchen, <laughs> get, the, get the dishes going, clean up the clothes, all that good stuff. Yeah. So yeah. he he did give me some flowers. I told him, I said, Well, you know, I enjoy flowers, but like I said, he hasn't gotten me flowers in a while. So but before the pandemic, he was giving me flowers uh, quite often. So, you know, yes, now is a good opportunity for you to get me some flowers right. because I haven't had any in a while. Yeah, you gotta you know, you, know, you gotta mix it up on them every now and then. <laughs> And then I went to went to Ralph's. They was charging like eighty eight dollars for some bouquet of roses. Oh I'm like, gosh. man, ain't nobody finna pay eighty eight dollars for a bouquet. What are you talking about? When I can go right down here on Crenshaw and Imperial and get it for the low. You hear me? 
<laughs> and that's what he did too. But they're still very beautiful flowers. Yeah, yeah. they are. Yeah, yeah. Well, flowers, nice. flowers. Yeah, exactly. Well, I don't know. Sometimes, well, they got grade A, grade yeah. B, grade C flowers. Mm-hmm. And you definitely had grade A, and you had some grade yeah F flowers before. Yeah, because I, I was like, they died the next day. Gotta <laughs> <laughs> take pictures. It'll yeah. Last longer. Yeah, so that that's if anyone is like thinking that like and, and it's interesting because of what society does to us because I, I asked Jason, I said, Are we like are we kind of tripping? Are we doing something wrong right now by not like making sure you know how they say, you know, del- us uh, date your spouse and things like mm-hmm. that, and you need to make sure you do that to keep the keep the uh flame burning keep and all the this spice stuff. hot. <laughs> keep it alive. <laughs> I saw as I said, right, do you think we're doing something wrong? Like, because we don't really want to do anything, you know? Because last year, what did we do last year? I don't know what we did last year. Oh, we remember. went to a restaurant, remember? Mm-hmm. And um, you remember, and we couldn't get in. We, you made a reservation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that little, the, the rotating uh, hotel. Yeah. 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 So, made a reservation, then they overbooked. Yeah. And folks were waiting there for hours. Right. Yeah, it we, was bad. It was so bad. Yeah, I forgot what episode it was, but I talked about we it. We talked about episode. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, we had we still had a good time. We ate. It was a nice uh, hotel, so the lobby, um, where you get food in the lobby, was very nice, like a nice, like a nice restaurant, like a a real five star restaurant. But yeah. it's like the hotel lobby though, mm-hmm. so it was nice. We had a good time. Yeah. Uh, spent a lot of money there too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it was it was fun. Yeah, but you don't have you just don't have to wait until valentine's day to do that sort of thing yeah man it's a you know i'm not gonna call it valentine's day a scam <laughs> i'm not gonna call it that i am gonna say that um you know things go up on valentine's day mm-hmm. so <laughs> fellas this is, a, this is a, it's a pro tip out there <laughs> fellas is 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 cheaper to 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 do things throughout the year <laughs> opposed to doing trying to go all out on valentine's because you you spend more money that way really you know what i'm saying so right. just do these little things throughout the year flowers in in june don't cost that much man you mm-hmm. know especially if you go around the corner and pick them you know what i'm saying so mm-hmm. that they 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 it don't, it don't matter how much you pay for them it's just a thought so mm-hmm. yeah, if you see some nice little roses around or flowers somewhere, just man, pick you some rose, pick you some flowers. And don't be picking it. people flowers out of their yard, hey, man. You know they could be. You know I don't want anybody picking my roses out of my yard whenever hey, man, I ain't get nobody them. Nobody gotta know. You ain't gotta tell us. You ain't gotta tell us. <laughs> <laughs> when it was in Hawaii, they had like flowers everywhere. You know, sometimes you be on the side of the road. You know what I'm saying? You just never know. Okay. Yeah, make it look good. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. So, yeah, but I just thought that was interesting that I was kind of like, well, we should do something because it's Valentine's Day. And I was like, wait a minute. Uh, we good. I, don't, I just don't feel like doing anything. So, so <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I, I just kind of want to flash back to I've been watching the Bible Project. Man, go check that out on YouTube. The Bible Project is awesome. So, you know, back in the day, you know what I'm saying? The, the Hebrews, they used to have like uh, Jubilee, you know what I'm saying? Like different um you know celebrations to kind of rem- so you can remember what what God did for for their people right mm-hmm. for the Israelites right and so um I, I'm I don't know let's just do some do some research on this but I, I I believe that a lot of these holidays that we have are really they say they masking over pagan holidays but I think those pagan holidays are masking over the original you know what I'm saying holidays that we had set for the the christian community or the 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 the, the you're looking at me kind of crazy no <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just, like a no i'm not trying to i'm just trying to wait for you to finish so i can say that from my research um it's it, it is the other way around and pagan yes but, and, I, but but let's go but but before pagan mm-hmm. there was there wasn't pagan holidays mm-hmm. there was you know, I want to say Christian, but you know, it was uh, it was it was people who followed God, and you know what I'm saying. It was those holidays. Was it wasn't that Jewish? many? Of them. Yeah. What, what would you call it? Uh, festivals. Yeah, just festivals and stuff. Yeah, it wasn't what, that many of them? Wasn't that many of them? Mm. <laughs> mm. I don't know about that. Well, this Valentine Day is actually uh. Uh, it's like two two different things that they were saying it was based off of and one is the catholic uh a saint named saint valentine correct 
So I guess technically that's the Christian. But no, nah, we ain't counting that. I mean, yeah. it, I mean, because it's Catholic, I get it. But I'm just saying, like, even before that, it was pagan, and then before that, yeah, you I know what I'm saying. I don't know. We haven't done enough research. What, what do you? What do you want to do say? Some research on that and hit us in the comments. <laughs> uh, what do you want to say about it? You just was saying what? No, I'm just saying, just like you know, uh, you know, just kind of, I don't know, just. I just, I just, I just don't be so high on these holidays. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, okay. These, these, mm-hmm. these holidays are are really, you know, they're here to suck your money out your out your wallets. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's really what it is. That's you, what it seems like all of yeah, them are. Just, now. just think about it. You know, they they created a new holiday called Black Friday. Now, you know what I'm saying? That's a new one. You know what I'm saying? Thanksgiving wasn't enough. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? You got the food, but then we're gonna also throw some other stuff in there too mm-hmm. to take away. You know, it's just crazy. So it's like every month. There is something to take take a, a chunk out of your pocket, or maybe it's a it's something to celebrate. Maybe it's a festival. It's a reason to celebrate every month. Maybe, maybe. But like I said, I I, I don't know, man. I just I just I just don't feel like you should just go all out. I mean, if that's if that's what you want to do. By all means, go for it. But uh, you know, it's it, like I said. It's, I think it's more efficient to to do things throughout the year opposed to spend three four hundred dollars on a meal because because i've done it you know what i'm saying like mm-hmm. we, we we ate on rodeo drive mm-hmm. for valentine's day yeah we did and jason, i jason had an allergic the, I, the to, <laughs> I got a, yeah i had allergic i don't even know i have allergies or anything but i i sure had allergic reaction to that i was like i think you're having an allergic reaction my jason. eyes was was just dry <laughs> I'm like, why my eyes drying out lord Cause we was kind of cold, so we was under the under a heater, and I thought the heater was just drying my like, eyes out. No, Mm-mm. the heater is not going to do that to your eyes. I had this like you passion. You be like staring in the eye, or, yeah. like in the heater for it to do that. <laughs> I had some passion fruit or something, but my eyes, they shoot. You would think I was high as a kite, <laughs> my, so tight. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, and so the, yeah, that one time you took me to Rodeo Drive. Uh, for Valentine, it was like super expensive, and the food was like, and of course they're increasing the price. Like it, that's an expensive restaurant, but they totally increased the price because it's Valentine's Day. Super increased it, and you know it's cool, but we can get dressed up at any point and go out to eat Correct. on a not Valentine. Yeah. <laughs> Just watch it, man. <laughs> Valentine's or something else, bro. And look at us. We're supposed to be the loveologists, and we uh we hate on the day of love. I ain't. We ain't hate on the day of love. We. <laughs> Hate, hating on the the uh, the way that they present it, you know what I'm saying, and what they're trying to do to you. Well, I it, do cause, like because they're taking away from the love. It, it turns into like a, a money thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I do like the idea that some other countries are doing, where it is a truly a day of love and not like a day just for romantic lovers, because they also call Valentine's Day sad, which is Single Awareness Day, mm. because you just become so aware that you're single. If yeah. you are single, mm-hmm. and it just makes you sad, and I'm just like, shoot, we just kicking it, like you know what I mean? Like it's just, I don't know. But of course, when I was younger, I would be, oh, I don't have a Valentine, you know. It's just like a a, a thing to make people sad. Shoot, fellas so, be like, shoot, yeah, I'm. A, look, they they might have some 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 girls on their team. They they might want to may want to make them their their main squeeze, right? Mm-hmm. They wait till after Valentine's Day. Like, shoot, we too close to Valentine. Let's wait till after. Say that little money. Say to, to to like like commit to them. Yeah, yeah. So say that bread. Yeah, so whack. <laughs> whack. How many of y'all out there? Hey, Whackety man, whack whack. Meet me in the comments if you ever <laughs> had a chick around February the first, and you was like, well, I'm gonna wait till after Valentine's Day to about March or April. Then you made a your main squeeze. Let me know in the comments. Let me know I ain't the only one. Please, thank you. I'm sure you're not. That's why I said y'all are whack. <laughs> Nah, y'all be wanting too much sometimes. Oh Lord. <laughs> so if if we were to change Valentine's Day to just like the day of love where you just express love to your people that you love, you yeah. know, yourself, like you said. Yeah. It's a you know, if you're Friends, single family. Yeah. Yeah. Like just express love to yourself and um and uh yeah, your friends and family. And that's it. It don't have to be like romantic love. I don't I don't maybe we should petition for that. Mm. Let's change that. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I had to say about that. About Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> so so as as a woman, let me ask you this. As a woman, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, on Valentine's Day, um, if you were first starting to, you know, date a guy and y'all serious, y'all done already did to do, right? How would you expect your first Valentine? My first Valentine? Yeah, with that person. I well, mean, Jason, you, you know, our first Valentine, we was at a cabin having like a great time, zip lining and all this other stuff. Hey man, that's you know, everybody can't so, be like this. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I guess you set the bar kind of high. Like I don't know. But so like what so so you expect if you expected st- that though? No, if because you weren't expecting no 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 cabin. No, but we were still like for free 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 cabin. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Going on to the Smoky Mountains. That's right. For the free free. I didn't pay for nothing, did I? No. Not a thing. I don't think you drove in. Huh? I, I sure did not because the first it was time. like Yeah, it was like ice on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Came and scooped you up and everything. That's right. Can't drove I'm living in Memphis at the time. Drove all the way to Little Rock, which is west, and then had to double back to go. I just saw a picture uh remember me or remember when on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Uh, where we had a, uh, we it took us five hours to get from uh, uh Little Rock to Memphis mm-hmm. that that day. I said, "Wow, that, that ice was bad." Shout out to all my uh, yeah. all, all our people out there in the south, the south man. Yeah. Uh, getting hit with that snowstorm. Um, uh, and my cousin lights cut off. Cause my people lights cut off, but you know some of them got their lights back back on. But man, it's a lot going on. Mm-hmm. Uh, sorry for the people on the west coast and. Down in the, in the south in Florida may may be a little little uh, what do you call it when you know insensitive, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because we don't some we don't really know how serious it is. We see that like man, man negative two right now. <laughs> like, you see that, but you don't really comprehend what that entails. So, right. Uh, definitely. Yeah, shout you're not out. feeling it. We're, no. we're not feeling that right now. No. So, so you know, prayers for you guys. Hopefully, everything uh, that passes. But take some pictures, take some video, enjoy that that that, yeah. that snow, man. That's mm-hmm. awesome. Yeah. You just gotta, you know, not not even roll with the punches. It's like you gotta dance in the rain. You yeah, know, exactly. You gotta sing in the rain, dance yeah. in the rain. So exactly. Get some kids out there getting that snow. You know. But what? See, so you cold, but then you come back in. You know, heat. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta get on down. Go somewhere else. <laughs> well, if you got that gas stove, yeah, that still work, don't it? Yeah, yeah, open, look, open the stuff, open, open that, that door. oven up, <laughs> open that oven door. All right, <laughs> I heard that. Get that little heat coming from that. You ain't lying. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 what did you expect though for the Valentine's? That was I, I did not I set have it up there. But what, what, did, what was you expect? I did not have any expectations. I think it was a good sign that you and I were a good fit because. I very much prefer experiences over gifts. Mm-hmm. So you didn't actually give me a gift. You sure? No, you didn't give me a gift. Okay. The gift is the experience. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so yeah, like, I mean, I'm sure you gave me like a flower or something, but you didn't like wrap a present up and give it to me. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I, I don't. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, I don't think I ever just really give you like a oh, I'm gonna give you a ring on Valentine's Day or uh-huh. a necklace or something like that. Nah. Right. Um, I'm more like you do that for my birthday and for Christmas. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, but yeah, it's you know candy, flowers, card, beer. Yeah. You know. But well, the experience over the years, was it kind of something that was way better, right? Because we, I could still, both of us can still look back and and you know and have fun, but we've. We've traveled a lot and it wasn't Valentine's Day. That's what I'm saying. Right. So, you know, but like I said, it was a good sign for me that like we were compatible because we just, we just knew what to do. I, 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 didn't, I didn't, I didn't even really expect it. I mean, I don't know if you swept me off my feet. I, mean, I don't know I if mean, I say all on, that. Come on. Sound like it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you liked it though. I loved it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. I'll give you your props. Yeah. Yeah, so what 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 was the most what's the best Valentine's have you provided a a, a mate? Have, what, what have you done probably I, the most? I probably have not done anything <laughs> <laughs> like super special on Valentine's Day. If I have a I've just done special things for my mates, you know mm-hmm, what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But you tell me what was the most special thing I've done for you? I don't remember. Hell. Oh man, Valentine! Like 
Yeah. No, I'm talking about in in, in general because I already know. I'm that, talking about specifically Valentine's though. But I don't. I just don't put too much on Valentine's Day. I feel yeah. like I one night I surprised you. You came home from work. You don't remember none of this, I guess. But with the jogging, you know, jogging my memory, candlelight dinner, and oh, I yeah. got all dressed up. Oh and, yeah, that was nice. And I cooked a nice, your favorite meal. Yes. that wasn't Valentine's Day. Yeah, that wasn't. It, it, I just if, yeah, it was if candlelit dinner, yeah. It was if it's just it hit me, I want to do this. Yeah, for my hubby. Yeah, that was dope. Yeah, I like. Why that. not? Mm-hmm. So <laughs> let's do it now. Come on. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, that was that was legit. Okay, all right. I, I feel you on that. All right, what yeah. else you got for for the people for today? I, I, I wish y'all. I wish we was on a live discussion or something. No. What else y'all got? This gonna be this one gonna be quick. Short and sweet. <laughs> short and Ooh, sweet. Short and sweet, baby. Yeah. Well, while we on this short and sweet tip, uh, I know y'all noticed my uh my shirt says Alignment Tea Company. Alignment Tea Company. Man, look, I'm gonna tell y'all something right here. That boy Tim Holmes. Got some stuff with this alignment oh, right wow. here. Oh wow, Jason yeah. knocking me out of the way. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Alignment <laughs> tea. I got some. This is some um, rise and shine tea right here. It got it, all natural stuff, man. The, the, the brother know what he's talking about. He know what he's doing. And this is not just you know. This not no tea bags. This is actually <laughs> you know got tea in here. You got to get one of those things from uh. Uh, I hope your hands are clean. Well, they clean. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get you gotta get the little thing from Amazon and and, and, and steep your own tea. But it's man, it's legit, man. It don't have to come from Amazon, by the well, way. Well, anywhere so. it come from the stove. <laughs> you might already have one at the house. I'm just picking with this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the rise and shine tea. This this particular tea is an herbal blend. It's great all day, but it's just the tea you need as you begin your morning. Good for mental clarity, energy, alertness, and even memory. Y'all know I need that. You hear me? <laughs> it has ginkgo, rose hips, goji berry, lemon peel, rosemary, ginseng, uh, double leaf. I don't know what that is. And some blueberry. Man, look, I'm trying to tell y'all alignment <laughs> tea. Y'all better get your tea on. It man. is good. Jason has made me a couple of cups of it, and it's very good. It gets you right, y'all. I think I'm going to be a tea drinker now. It gets you right. Get yeah. your nutrients going, all that good stuff. So check that out, man, when y'all get a chance. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it. That's it? Yeah. Well, that's it. That's all. Look, <laughs> look, y'all. We appreciate y'all. This is another Love Audio podcast episode in the books, man. Don't forget to check out some of our previous episodes. Don't forget to go to loveologypodcast.com and come check out some of our other uh, apparel. We have shirts. We have hats. Y'all know what time it is. Go on, support your boy and your girl with Love Audio Podcast. Spread the love. This is just this is a movement, y'all. This <laughs> is not just a podcast. This is how this is how we change the world. One heart at a time. That's really, right. literally, that's how that's that's the whole plan of, of of God with Jesus. You know, we here to to spread the gospel and 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 change the heart and hearts of people that's around the world. And one way you can do it is by rocking a Love Algae podcast shirt, and they that see that love. Today, well, you know, I'm, I'm repping, I'm repping, <laughs> I'm still doing it. You know what I'm saying? I'm repping. It's this it's love in here. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You, you can feel it. You know what I'm saying? I that's like, right. Like Iron Man or something, I can just feel the love radiate. Like, ooh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jason, I want a day. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying. So yeah, get you a love algae tea. Get you a, a hat, a hoodie, or something. You know, representing. Also, we really appreciate all our patreons out there. Uh, if you want to uh, support us and you want to support us financially, it's greatly appreciated. It, it, it helps us out with doing a lot of different things with that with the podcast. We got some new stuff coming up in the future. But you can go to loveaudiopodcast.com. It's a button up under there. That, sh- that says become a patreon and you know patreon has been around for a long time back in aristotle days back when leonardo and, and all them cats was doing <laughs> what they do uh mm-hmm. you know they didn't have nine to five jobs and and doing the sculptures and all that um a lot of them wasn't that famous at the time so they had to have patreons to pay them while they do their work so kanye wasn't tripping when he said he told somebody that they should pay him so he so he could create his art. Do you yeah. remember that? Yeah, that's 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 the whole point. Who did he tell that? Do you remember? Well, yeah. So he wasn't tripping when he said that. No, it wasn't on Patreon. Like he was asking like a a millionaire. He's like, you should just pay me so I can do my art. Right. 
no, no. which is what we're doing but he was yeah. like on a different of course he's talking about like millions of dollars yeah. like you need to pay me millions of dollars so i can do my so you can just work. so you can just flow mm-hmm. yeah so that's that's basically what patrons are and we definitely appreciate our patrons we really love you guys so like i said if you want to become a patron go to loveologypodcast.com it's a button under there pick your tier we got three tiers you know what i'm saying the first tier is only two bucks a month so we really appreciate it if you get that second tier you get a free t-shirt and the t-shirt is over 20 some dollars huh i keep hitting you yeah i keep jabbing me in my boot <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry about that but uh but yeah so uh man again we out of here y'all we appreciate y'all and uh, we're gonna catch y'all next time all right peace out bye